again. Thanks for watching me. Today I'll be making tambule salad. It's a cracked wheat salad made with burguri. A Lebanese salad also very popular in Cyprus because a lot of Lebanese people have settled there. So, and also there are a lot of Lebanese restaurants in Cyprus and I love Lebanese food. I really do. And I actually made this salad in my restaurant and it's very popular. Let's talk about the ingredients. Okay, we, we need coarse cracked wheat. It has to be coarse, the thick one. We also need chopped onions, finely chopped. The same with cucumber, spring onions, red pepper. Now, traditionally, they do not put red pepper, but I love the crunch and the colour. Also, we need tomatoes, but tomatoes, you take the seeds out and with the same with the cucumber because you don't want any water. You also add salt and pepper, lemon juice, lots of olive oil, lots of parsley. That's what makes it a Lebanese salad is the parsley that makes it a bit of fresh mint and my secret ingredients. But please do not tell anybody. It's our secret. OK pomegranates I love it they look beautiful in the salad okay shall we carry on with the recipe first you have to soak your cracked wheat well you've got about four ounces of cracked wheat here uh, in, in warm water and leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes until it absorbs all the water then you need to put it in a cloth I've got cheesecloth here Put it there and squeeze it dry. Very easy. It's a bit like making cheese, really. Like that. Can you see all the water that's coming out? There we are. As much as possible. There we are. I'm going to put it in my bowl here. Try and get all the grains out. Grains are, per are precious. And I'm going to start adding the rest of the ingredients, which are very easy. As I said, with your cook cucumber, please remove the seeds. Yeah, remove your seeds. And then cut it into tiny little pieces. And the same with the tomato. We don't want the seeds or any water from the tomato. Okay, uh, let's get a spoon. I'm going to start, it's really so easy, you just assemble things together. We're going to start putting all our ingredients in there. It doesn't matter what order you put them in. There we are. And if you don't like uh, uh, peppers, don't use them. A lot of people are allergic to peppers. Our spring onions. And... I'm going to put salt and pepper. Obviously, we're going to taste it again and see. I've got white pepper, but you can put black pepper. I'm also going to put some lemon juice. I'm doing it the Greek way, the Cypriot way, using a fork. I already took the pips out. Now, I'm going to put the juice of two lemons. You need a lot of lemon. Oh. I just saw a pip, I need to take it out. Two pips. Let's see if there are any more. No, okay. These lemons smell delicious. They smell like Cypriot lemons. I love the smell of lemons. All right. Another one that escaped. Get out from my salad. Okay, let's wipe my hands. Some olive oil, as much as you think you will need. We're going to test it and we'll find out. Give it a mix. I'm going to chop a bit of mint. You don't need too much mint, a little mint in your salad. And if you don't have fresh mint, just use dry. Don't worry about it. And this doesn't have to be chopped tinyly, tinyly pieces. It's fine to keep it chunky, like me. 
Right. Let's chop some parsley. This is flat parsley. It's called continental parsley or Cypriot parsley. Call it what you like. <laughs> Try. I'm not going to chop it anymore. That's fine. I like it like this. Mix it. Now I need more parsley. That's not enough for me. So I'm going to add more. And then I'm going to put the pomegranate. That's why I kept the parsley near me. Once you make this salad, you're going to love it so much. It's, it's really nice with kebabs, fish, anything really. Right, let's see. Yeah, that looks better. Look. Is the green color that looks beautiful in this salad right let's put the pomegranate seeds they give it it gives this salad a nice crunch like the peppers now I'm gonna taste some and see if it needs anything a little bit more pepper and a bit more salt and a bit more olive oil here is our salad how beautiful is this isn't it gorgeous that's it go home and make it